Hi everyone, welcome to the Learn in Lab series of C programming. I am Varun and today we would like to discuss that what sort of things should be written in the structure of C program and then after successful understanding our aim is to write the first C program. Let's start with the documentation section. As we know it consists of a set of comment lines giving the name of program, the author and the other details which the programmer would like to use later. As we know all these things which are written over here are consisting of English like sentences like we say program name is writing on writing our first C program, author name is Varun Batra. So it's like a problem because if we send this as it is, it would not be understandable by compiler and leads to error generation. So there we introduce the concept of comments in a C program. So comments are useful instructions or instruction for a programmer in C program but especially in our native language. As these comments are also ignored by the compiler but only and only if the proper syntax is being used for commenting in a C program. We have two ways to comment in a C program. First is single line comment and second is the multi line comment. Single line comment is used to comment only a single line and can be achieved by using double slash at very beginning of the line or statement. Whereas multi line comment is used to comment multiple lines and can be achieved by using slash asterisk at very beginning of the lines or statements and this type is also require a termination by using asterisk slash at the end of line or statement. We can also use either or both styles of comments in a program. Let's understand with an example. Consider the instructions or statements given along are required to comment in a documentation section of a C program. Instructions are program name, writing and understanding a C program, author, Varun Batra, output of the program in the next line, string on the console output. Let's initially comment these by using single line comment format. This is how the single line commenting occurs by using the double slash at the beginning of every sentence or at the beginning of every instruction or at the beginning of every line. So here we see the double slash in front of each and every line. Now let's have a look on multi line comment format in which we use slash asterisk then program name and author output of the program when all these instructions are over then we terminate that particular multi line comment with a asterisk then with a slash. Now finally see both these styles in this single program can also be used. Here we can comment first line using double slash or you can say the single line commenting format. Second line also we are commenting in a with a single line commenting format but the third and fourth line should be commented using multi line commenting using the slash asterisk then termination with the asterisk slash. Some common programming errors which are usually performed by programmers while commenting is forgetting to terminate a comment with the asterisk slash. This is in the case of multi line commenting. Next is the starting a comment with the invalid syntax of characters. Starting the case of multi line commenting when we use the asterisk then slash. It is a invalid, invalid sequence of characters which is not used in a multi line commenting or ending a comment with the invalid character sequence that is slash asterisk. Whereas it is a asterisk slash. So these things needed to be taken care of by the programmer. Now let's come on preprocessor directives. Preprocessor directives it contains special instructions that indicate how to prepare the C program for compilation. Most common preprocessor directive is 
hash include less than stdio dot h greater than where hash is used to start the preprocessor command. Here the preprocessor command is the include include which is one of the most important and commonly used preprocessor command which tells the compiler that to execute the program some information is needed from the specified header file. Hash include collectively tells the compiler to include whatever header file is specified within the less than and greater than in the program. stdio.h stands for standard input output header file which contains the functions for input and output of the data like reading values from the keyboard and printing the results on the screen. Please note the keywords used in the language are case sensitive. The example is shown over here that this include is not equal to not same as this include is not same as this particular include. Now next is the main function. Main function it is a part of every C program. This is very important that it is a part of every C program. The empty list of parentheses immediately after main indicates that the function main has no arguments or formal parameters. This would be discussed later when we discuss the discuss about the functions. For a while it is important that this thing needs to be remembered that it is a part of every C program basically. Then the opening curly bracket marks the beginning of the function main and you can also say the beginning of the program and the closing curly bracket marks the end of the function or we can also say that the end of the program. Things to be taken care of, those are the common programming errors which are usually do by the programmer using a capital letter where a lower case letter should be used. Example, we are typing main with a capital M instead of small m. Again, the same thing comes, there is a, the language is a case sensitive. Next is a placing semicolon at the end of empty parentheses of main function that is main then open parentheses then close parentheses then semicolon. This is also a error. Now lastly is the statement section. In this section for a while let me introduce one of the function from included header file that is stdio.h is printf which is used to print the desired string of characters or a message on the screen. The syntax for using printf is given below that is printf in a lower case then open parenthesis start then double quotes then within the double quotes you have to write the message which you want to print on the console output or on the console window. Then after writing the text or the string of characters you should end up with a double quotes then close the parenthesis then at the end you have to after closing the parenthesis you have to mark the semicolon. The entire line including printf its arguments within the parenthesis and the semicolon is called a statement. So this is called a particular C statement. Things which needs to be remembered while writing the C program is every C statement must end with a semicolon. Now this is the console window. When the write printf statement is executed, it prints the message whatsoever it is in the double quotes. In our case, the message is enter the message you would like to print. So this is the console window which would show the output of this particular printf statement. As we have seen all the sections that what to write in those sections and in order to develop a C program. Now by collective learning try to perform the exercise. Pause the video and perform the exercise. The C program is initially we wrote the programming details or some program details within the multi-line commit format. First is a program name writing and understanding the C program then author should be mentioned Varun Batra from Mackie Insight. Output of the program 
string on console output that is what we got on our console window then this is the documentation section which is covered over here then we have preprocessor directives that is hash include stdio.h then we have a main function then curly bracket start within the curly bracket I have mentioned the statement that is a printf statement which is useful in printing the message on a printing an output on a screen then curly bracket close that is the end of the program and by compiling this program we will we would get the this particular output or we will get the this particular console output or the console window is open on which we have got the output welcome to my channel Mackie inside which is written over there in the printf statement thank you for watching for more videos do subscribe my channel Mackie inside